and Ali Baba were two brothers. Qasim got married to a rich merchant's daughter. So he was well off. On the other hand, Ali Baba was a poor man. He had just a few asses to take to the jungle to collect wood and sell them in the city. This way he was feeding his family. One day he was cutting wood on a hill. He saw some horse riders. Oh, they are the robbers. Oh, what shall I do now? I shall climb on the tree and hide myself in leaves. Oh, they are coming back after robbing somewhere. Oh, they unloaded the booty from the horse and kept them under the same tree where I was hiding. And one of them goes and stands near the hill. Kulda Simpson! Oh, it is opening like a door in the hill and all the robbers were picking up the goods and entering into the cave one by one. It is good that I hid myself on the tree, otherwise these robbers could have done anything to me. They are coming out once again. Oh, they are going somewhere on their horses. They have gone. Oh, I shall also make a move But I want now. to see the cave as well as the treasure of the robbers at least once. Mm. Oh, oh, oh yes, Kulja Simpson. I will also say, Kulja Simpson. Oh, the door of the cave is opening. Oh, I shall go inside and see. Oh God, this place is full of diamonds, precious stones and gold coins. The entire cave is shining with the reflection of these stones. Wow, even in my dreams, I've never seen so much of treasure. Ah, if I steal one or two bags of the gold coins, these robbers will never come to know and my days will change. Alibaba, do it fast, man. Pick up the bags and put them on the asses. Fast! I do it fast! Fatma! Fat coming, coming! What's the hurry? Don't talk loudly! Oh ho! Why are you bringing the asses inside? Oh, shut up! Close the door and bolt it! Hey, be fast! What's the matter? <sighs> Open the bags and see. Oh God! So many gold coins! From where have you got it? Be interested in the eating mangoes. Do not count the trees. All these gold coins belong to us? Take out some gold coins and bury the bags in the room inside. Whenever we will feel the need, we will take out. Let's count them first. It will take hours to count them. We do not have so much time. Anybody can come. Oh, if sister-in-law comes then... Then let us weigh them. Oh no! Oh, we do not have the utensils to eat. And what are you talking about weighing machines? Brother Qasim has. I will bring from there. Go, but beware. Fatma, what brings you here? Sis in law, I need your weighing machine and the weighs. I will return it soon. They do not even have sufficient to eat. What will she do with a weighing machine? Please have a seat. I will bring it. I will fix up some wax in the weighing machine. Whatever they will weigh, some of it will stick on it. Fatma, here. Please take the machine and the weighs. Thank you, sis in law. I will return it after some time. No problem. Return it when your work is over. Where did you get all these gold coins from? What gold coins? Dear brother, you are confused. We had asked the weighing machine to weigh something else. <laughs> Dear brother, I'm not a kid. Don't try to fool me. Look, either you tell me where you got all these gold coins from or you share half of it with me. Otherwise, I will inform the police. Your house will be seized with your wealth. Please, please do not do this. I will tell you the address of that place. <laughs> Kulja Simsim! <laughs> oh, by God! Such a huge treasure? 
I'm confused what I should take and what to leave. This is sufficient for me today. Now I should move out of this cave as soon as possible. But I've forgotten the way out. How will this cave open? Oh God, please help me. I'm stuck. Now going out seems impossible. Hurry. I think the robbers are coming. The sound of trotting horses are coming. Now what should I do? I shall hide myself. Hurry. Kulja Simpson. Hey, who's hiding there behind the bags? <laughs> Sarkar, the donkey's grazing outside seems to be his. Fortunately, we've reached on time. Otherwise, this guy would have taken all the bags. His death has come, not us. Cut into pieces and hang it on the door of the cave. Oh. So that nobody can dare do this. brother had said that he will come back by afternoon but he has not yet come i'm very worried something fishy sis-in-law i am also worried why brother has not come back however have faith in god and be patient i will go myself to find him <laughs> dead body oh the robbers have cut it into four pieces and hung at the door but there is hardly any time to think much or to regret i shall take kasim's body home quickly Listen, law no one can change the destiny. We are left with no option <laughs> but to have patience. <laughs> one more thing. Nobody should know that the robbers have killed Kasim. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. My lord, one thing is coming to my mind. Kindly allow me to say. Yes, Marjina, speak. I will go to the doctor and ask for the medicine. On the pretext that my master is ill simultaneously, you convey this to everybody. that your brother is seriously ill after a few days we will declare him dead due to illness yes marjina you are very much right we should do like this only but how will we make the arrangement to bury kasim the robbers have cut him into four pieces do not worry i have thought of it but first let me go to the doctor and bring the medicine Salam uncle Mustafa Salam God bless you my child Take these four gold coins Four four gold coins Yes I have to get burial cloth stitched but this is in one condition What condition I will take you there but your eyes will be covered What a stupid condition What you do not accept No no I accept your condition What is this? What happened, boss? There is somebody who knows the secret of our treasure. Yes, boss. Apart from the treasure, the dead body is also missing, which we had hanged on the door into four pieces. If we do not find out the thief, our life will be in danger. Who among you will take the responsibility to catch the thief? Speak. Come on, speak out. Boss, I will do this. Well done, Dilawar. I hope you will do the job successfully. I will go for it from today itself. Okay, go. Masha Allah 
Even in this age, your eyesight's are very good. In such a low light, you're stitching comfortably. Yeah, sir, I can stitch even in the light lower than this. A few days back, I stitched a burial cloth in such a low light that if somebody else could have been there, it would have been difficult for me even to see the thread and the needle. Mm. Uh, but sir, I got a very handsome reward there, though the dead body was cut badly. However, leave it. What I have to do with that? Uncle, take these two gold coins and tell me how the dead body was. That, that dead body was cut into four pieces. Can you show me that house? They had covered my eyes and then took me there. Oh, now I will cover your eyes and you try to walk as you are done that day. I will give you more gold coins. Gold coins? Yes. I think that day I had come to this place. Hey brother, do you live here? Yes, that's my house. Okay, okay. Did anybody die here a few days ago? Yes, yes. In this house itself, where you're standing, one gentleman had died a couple of days back. Hmm, it means I've reached the right place. My lord, today I saw a strange thing. I have seen a white mark on a door when I was going to the market. What is strange in this mark? No other door had this mark. Then? Then I made the same mark at every door. What is the meaning of it? It means somebody is spying against us. Well done, Marjina. I am very happy. <laughs> Dilawar, what is the news? Boss, I've got the thief's house. <laughs> very good, Dilawar, very good. Boss, I've got the information that the dead body has also been taken by him. An old tailor master who stitched the burial cloth had also told me that the dead body was cut into four pieces. Very good. Both of us will go there like gentlemen and kill those thieves and come back. But Dilawar, how will you recognize the place? Boss, don't worry, I've put a white mark at the door of that house. Well done, well done. This you have done a wise thing. Let's get ready to move. Dilawar, here every door has the same white mark. I think boss the thief is very clever and keeping eye on our every moment. Keep your mouth shut. Don't talk nonsense. If you are careless like this, then days are not far when our treasure will be gone and all of us will be hung to death. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Yes, what can I do for you? Sir. I am an oil merchant. I got delayed on the way, hence reached here late in the night. It will be very kind of you if you allow me to spend the night in your house. Yes, yes, sure. You're most welcome. Feel at home. I have 40 drums of oil outside, which is loaded on the back of 40 donkeys. Marjana, Marjana. Yes, my lord. See, he is my guest tonight. Do the needful arrangement for his stay. As you wish, my lord. He also has 40 drums of oil. Keep them in a room and leave the donkeys in the stable. Everything will be done. You don't worry, sir. Okay, now. I have to take a bath early in the morning, make my breakfast and clothes ready by then. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Now go and sleep. It's quite late in the night. Mm, I should make some soup just now itself. One never knows. I may wake up late. Oh, there's no oil. It's all finished. There's going to be no shop open in the middle of the night. What am I to do now? I think I shall take out a little oil from the merchant's drum and pay him in the morning for it. This would be just fine. And the drums are also here in the next room. Should we come out, boss? Hey, there is a man hiding in the drum. No, not yet. I will see the situation and call. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning. Come, Marjana. Water is warm for your bath. Your clothes are hanging in the bathroom, sir. And your breakfast is also ready. Hasn't your guest woken up yet? Don't call him your guest, sir. He was your enemy and wanted to kill you. What? What are you saying? I'm telling you the truth. He was the head of the robbers whose hidden treasure you have discovered. And he was the one who killed Kasim, sir. What? Are you sure? Yes. He had his men hidden in the drums. 
It was by chance that I found out that they were all hiding in the drums. I put hot oil in each drum and they all died inside the drums itself. Mm, it's hard to believe. Come on sir, come. Come see with your own eyes. You've done a very good job. But where is their boss? When he would have seen that his men are dead, he must have understood that he has been exposed. So he must have jumped the wall and run away. I am very proud with you, Marjana. God knows what would have happened to us hadn't you been here. Sir, please don't embarrass me. Whatever I did was my duty towards you. Hello, son. How's your business going? By your graces, my business is going quite well, Dad. The jewelry shop next to yours seems to open recently. Yes, Father. It is Kwaza Hassan's shop. Kwaza Hassan? Yes, he's a gentleman. He likes me a lot and he has taken me to his places numerous times to have meals. Will you keep eating meals there? Won't you call him at your house? Father, you have just told what I have been thinking for the past so many days. Fine, then invite him over this evening itself. Okay, Father. After I leave the shop in the night, I, I will get him along. Okay, okay. I'm going now. Marjana, he's Abdullah's friend and our guest. I've understood, sir. Make sure he's treated well. Nothing should be left. Don't you worry, sir. These days, I'm not keeping good health, so the doctors have advised me not to take the salt. He's the same man, the leader of the robbers, who came here last as the oil merchant. As you say, sir. I can take sweet things. Uh, there is no restriction on it. <laughs> <laughs> sir, if you allow me, please. Could I present a dance item before dinner? Yes. Why not? Beauty is itself killing. Then why are you having daggers in your hand? It's called the dagger dancer. Marjana, Marjana, start the dance. The guest is waiting to see your performance. Your wish is my command, sir. What have you done? You have stabbed our guest to death. He was no guest, sir. He was the same man, the boss of the robbers who had come the other day as an oil merchant. This time too, he came with the same intention. How, how did you know this? The moment I saw him, I immediately recognized him. Apart from that, when he said that he does not eat salt, confirmed my doubts. How? After having salt of yours, it would have become difficult for him to raise his hand on you. If you don't believe me, then you must search him. He certainly will have some weapon on him. Uh, Father, Marjina is right. See, he has a dagger. Bravo! Bravo! Well done, Marjina. I'm very happy by your wisdom. And release you. I shall marry you off to my son and make you my daughter-in-law. Sir, but I am your slave. I'm not worthy of you. Now, you are not my slave. You are my daughter-in-law. And you will address me as a father and not sir, my dear daughter. Father! It's morning and the story is also over. But this morning is a call of my death. Don't say like this. I'm very, very happy with you and changed my mind about women. Now I shall never marry and kill my wife. I have fallen so much in love with you that I shall not do anything without your consent. One day, a cap seller was going round the village selling the caps. Soon, the day grew hot. The cap seller found a shady tree on the way. He stopped.